friends have been taken and tortured. And it's your fault. No, it's your fault. Countless people have been killed, and it is your fault. No, it's your fault. Just don't kill if you really want to send a message to it peacefully. Easy. Hello, guys, and welcome back to some more Far Cry 5 co-op. This will hopefully, and I do say hopefully with a big H, be the last video. Uh, we went off camera, hunted down some vehicles to finish one mission that was I didn't want to do on camera. Any trouble finding the stuff? It would have taken me months. Fake angels might as well be walking corpses. Too far gone to bring back once you get that much bliss in you. But with this stuff, we might be able to just herd them out of the way. Once it's ready, do you... Do you, do you uh, think you can give it a field test? Oh, god <laughs> damn it. Positive will work, <laughs> like 95% positive but we still need to make sure he wants to try to see if it works i i thought he's yeah he's gonna do it as a mission Deputy. oh sorry i need all the ingredients before we can mix a new batch now i'll keep working on the formula do you have the ingredients? what ingredients what Deputy, we're sent for a trial run. what's going on now okay we're good. What do you mean we're good? Test the bait. Okay, we gotta test the bait. No pine trees, on there. Can we test it inside here? Is, is that. Is it an animal? Bait? I have no idea. No, it's bait for like. No animals. What is the kind of bait he wants us to test out here? here. That's a grenade, that's not bait. I no longer have bait. Uh, do you have any bait? A normal bait? Wait, we gotta use it somewhere else? We oh, one. He wants us to use it over here. Why are all these areas we don't know he wants us to go to? So sad. Yeah, we too. Just normal ones though. Okay, let's see if we can do it in that area then. That he wants us to use it on. Here? No, 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 not here. This is the closest area we can, uh, you know, go to. Alright, there we go. Here we go. Kill only the cultists. Just wanted to remind you not to disturb the angels. If Don't kill the angels, okay, hero? I gotta we gotta kill the bad people that aren't the angels. Why did you kill the... I didn't kill anything. Why? Oh. We need to be... Make them quiet, so hide. Don't kill them. Kill all angels and cultists. What? Kill all of them? And also wolves. Place the bait on the table. Reach the roof of the shack. Okay. Let's do it. Deputy, 
I just did field tests. I'm positive I added adrenochrome to the bait oh, mixture. Spin. Oh, the dang. problem is, I'm staring at a full vial right now. Maybe I didn't put it in? No idea how that might affect the results. As long as you no haven't put it down yet, we could re-examine our plan. Because we're gonna kill them. Kill all ninjas the and cultists. Oh, you got him. I see the mistake in the formula. We need a higher concentration of pheromones drawn from the subjects infused with the bliss. Now, I can get it from the hides of animals who've gorged on it. Collect what you can and bring me new samples. <laughs> Man, glad I figured this out before you use the bad batch. I'm 75% sure this will work. 75? Crispy Baskins. Why do you used to have a lot of them? Yeah. I didn't know they were going to be used for missions. Me too. I don't have meat though. It's fine. We'll just hunt them down the good old fashioned way. All I need to do is kill one of them with a bow. I think. Mm -hmm. I thought it was two. Yeah, but I get two skins if I kill them with a bow. And with bullets, you only get one. Seventy-five percent sure this better work, dude. Otherwise, I will come for you and I will kill you in your sleep. Not really, but better damn will work. I'm, I'm sure he's scared. It's fine. Yeah, he better be scared. No bears? Come on, really? I don't have meat, sir. I also don't have meat. They should the just spawn the robot. Oh, he scared me. Oh, I shot him. Whoops. I think as long as I do the killing flow, it should be fine. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, ooh, that hurt. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's fine. And the buttocks. It does work. Alright, what now? He goes him. Again? Mm hmm. I think you could wait for him to speak. No, no, we do go to him. So I'm guessing we're gonna go, I have to go back and forth to make sure it works again. Should have double checked before I sent you. Yeah, hit that, that chalkboard. But you did good work. Got enough of the bliss and fuse samples. That's what we needed. I've had time to tweak the formula, and now it's rock solid. As soon as it finishes processing, you'll have a new batch waiting. I can't thank you enough for all you've done around here, Deputy. 
Sheriff said you were good, but I didn't think you were this good. Wait, is this it? Hmm. This is the end? Maybe. <laughs> yes! Everything I see is real again. Thanks to you. I don't know why I would want angels to get attracted by our bait. But, I mean, if it works, it works. Can't act it with the results. <laughs> like I said so many other times. You know, it doesn't really result in anything. Yeah, let's, let's redo the beginning of the game and, and make sure we look cool this time and we actually get him. Let's do it. This time we're the ones flying as well. Too close. Yep. We're just gonna be fast as soon as we get over the water. So this is the last mission. I don't know. Plans it hopefully. Trying. We also didn't destroy all of these because we couldn't find them. I can see them if you like pick um was it Tracy's position? You can? Yeah, maybe it's possible. And with the wolf beacons? No you can't. Because she did she did ask for you to destroy them. Yeah, but I don't see anything when I picked up missions. No, yeah, that's weird. Yeah, nothing. Hmm, that's sad. Alright, so main mission. <laughs> yes, there we go. Mm -hmm. Where did you buy this stuff? Did I what? Did you buy the stuff for the map things? Yeah, all of them. Hmm. That's cool. Those are two missions. Like left in this whole thing. I have no idea. Again, I like I don't know if this is the end of the game or not. I don't know. We'll just see. I I don't know. It says we're missing missions to other places, but I haven't found any. Hmm. It could be that maybe hidden things you find counts as missions or something, but I don't know. Yeah. Or isn't it almost like the civilians? Maybe. Perhaps. Maybe perhaps. Okay, okay, we're almost there. Pretend to look at a phone, all right, and then be like, "Oh, Roku, you ain't gonna get any connection up here, out here." Uh, and just pretend it's nighttime. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're closing. And oh, Marshall, um, uh, you sure that's a good idea? Oh yeah, we we got the paperwork ready and everything. Okay, let's do it. We might have gone a little crazy from you know everything that happened to us, but it's cool. Okay, so we're going back in the <laughs> beginning. You park the same way we did last time. Yeah. We're walking slowly. I don't think we're gonna walk slowly. Walk slow. Fine, we're gonna walk slow. We're gonna have to wholesale our weapons to oh wait, we don't really have a choice. Just take some ammo just just to make sure, you know. Um <clears throat> that didn't happen. Uh let's just ignore that. Oh no, oh, people no, no, are going no. wild everywhere and they're banging and dogs are barking. Woof woof. Alright, good. Give me a You I gave you grenades. You gave me back, I think. <laughs> I gave you stuff. Oh no, let's get him! I didn't really go spade. You were supposed to stand up there and like be ready to take a to speech. When the lamb broke the fifth seal, 
I saw under the altar the souls of the martyrs, slain because of the word of God. You made martyrs of my family. And I am prepared to do the same to yours. Yes, a people. Yes, people. Wait, what? Oh, no. How did you manage to do that? But God is watching us. And he will judge us on what we choose in this moment. told you that we were living in a world on the brink. But why are they betraying us? Slight. Every injustice. We, they're, they're not them though. How did he hypnotize them? It doesn't make any sense. Sins. Mm -hmm. And where have those sins led us? Where have those sins led you? Your friends have been taken and tortured. And it's your fault. No, it's your fault. Countless people have been killed, and it is your fault. No, it's your fault. Just don't kill. If you really want to send a message to it peacefully. He's on fire, and mm -hmm. it's your fault. No, it is your fault. <laughs> Not mine. Was it yours. Me? Was it? When are you going to realize that every problem cannot be solved with a bolt? What? You say that? You cannot say that, dude. That doesn't make any sense. I gave you the choice to walk away. I tried to, but it didn't let me. You chose not to. In the face of God, I'm making you that offer. One last time. You put down your guns. And you take your friend. You leave me my flock. And you go in peace. Go in peace. You're fucking insane. You see? We never should have been here in the first place. You know what to do, bro. Can we? What do you do? I'm gonna kill them. I'm gonna kill them. God is watching. Can I can I take my friends and walk away? Well, what do you want to pick? <laughs> I really want to kill them, though. You want to kill him? Like, like, would they be controlled if you? I have no idea if we're gonna walk alone, like away by ourselves, or if he's gonna kill them. Or he said we could take our friends and walk away. Well, we could. Or we can resist and fight him. I don't know about the rest. And you pick, I don't like him. I think he's gonna kill the rest of the people, so we can't, right? Because yeah. it's only my friends we can pick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Sure, let's resist. Watch the world suffer and burn and swallow your pride. Not about pride. And the lamb broke the sixth seal and lo, there was a great earthquake. And the sun became black and the moon's under blood. What? Let's go. Your friends now see the truth. They welcome the instate into their hearts. They will die for me! I'll just kill every single one of them then. I mean. we'll them. We oh, can we'll really? Kill the we rest, can? but not them. Yeah. Ouch. We could kill them and instead revive them. And she's reviving you now. What? Alright, let's help them then. Save them. There you Save go, buddy. Let's 
if you revive them, they become normal. What? Wait, wait, I'm so confused. They're normal uh, now. I have no idea. Kill him. He's in front of you. I'm so confused. I think it's a NATO hit and he just kind of used that as an excuse. Mm -hmm. He's dead. But they went normal when we revived them. Uh, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't so, know. I'm so confused. I'm just asking. Oh, now we need to revive the rest. Revive, revive. Revive. Here you go, Joseph. Kill one by one. Okay. Oh. Okay. Let's get everyone. I'm getting the answer. From what? No. Oh, he's dead. Oh, that's so sad. Forgive them, Father. They know not what they do. And with the lamb. Open the seventh seal. There was silence in heaven. And the seven angels shoot him already. were given seven trumpets. And there were noises, thunderings, lightnings, and an earthquake. Joseph Seed, you're under arrest. Did he just launch nukes or something? That's a nuke alarm, isn't it? From the temple, say to the yeah, angels, it "Go your ways, and pour from the vials." So this is how it happened, because I know in Far Cry 6 or New Dawn that it's a nuked Earth. Oh. I know it's a sequel to this one, but I didn't know like, how. The heck, man! This is not my fault. Oh my god. Oh, shoot. They should have been moving a long time ago. Yep. Getting too close. How are they not dead yet? Who's right there? Come on, try. No, I think you are the one driving. Well, I'm no, driving. I'm, I'm huh? just at the with the phone. You I'm dead. No. Uh oh. Well, goodbye. Go, go, go. I'm not dead. Actually. Oh. Okay. Drive, drive, drive. You can just put it on auto. But this is just weird. We like it, so my choices wouldn't matter. Oh, I'm not gonna put an auto yeah. drive. Oh. <laughs> Why are we taking him with us? Because he's under arrest. 
What the nukes just dropped? <laughs> that is kind of gonna be a place to put it him in when this is over. And I think we're not taking off with the helicopter. Also, you're so quicker than me, I can't get to you. Oh no. If it doesn't count, if I die. Sure hope not. The Duchess Bunker. Mm -hmm. Bunker is awesome. We couldn't take any of the other bunkers we saw. We have to take Duchess. Yeah, he wants it. Yeah. Isn't his small as well? I don't know. It's bigger than the other ones. I have no idea. How did he do the new thing? I thought that felt weak. Yeah. All the stupid decisions our character makes. My goodness. They're dead. What? So you saved him from nothing? Or was, was the father thing? I don't know, are they dead? Father escaped. I don't know if they're dead. And he's taking me. Oh, that is great. West Dutch. Dodge better shotgun this guy in the face if you go into that bunker. He is going in. Is he gonna throw us? Attention. I have no idea. Attention. This is the emergency broadcast system. Oh. Take shelter immediately. Take shelter immediately. This is not a drill. Repeat. Where's the I have no idea. Oh. Well, there he is. And he's dead. You know what this means? It means the politicians have been silenced. It means the corporations have been erased. Yay. It means the world has been cleansed by God's righteous fire. You mean a nuke, man-made nuke that you probably fired. Most of all, it means I was right. No, it does not. Not even close. This would have happened regardless of you doing something or not, unless you're the one who actually launched it. As we know it, is over. I waited so long. I waited so long for the prophecy that God whispered in my ear to be fulfilled. You mean your own brain because you're crazy? I prepared my family for this moment. The one, your, your daughter that you killed or the ones that I killed that you, you kind of caused to attack? Me. No, you killed them yourselves because of what you did to them. So. I should kill you for what you've done. Go on ahead, I have no regrets. But you're all I have left now. You're my family. Oh, no, I don't want to. <laughs> and when the world is ready to be born anew, we will step into the light. I am your father. And you are my child. Are you going to change my diapers too? <laughs> And together we will march to Eden's gate. Then I'll make sure to poop a lot. <laughs> and for God's sake, please wear a shirt, dude. Like, why don't you ever wear a shirt? I don't want to look at your nipples all the time. I, th I think he has some kind of nipple thing. Like, he just likes to let his nipples out in the air. It's so weird.
No, I just turned off his step too. That's a, that's a bad ending on an awkward. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Seems like I can go fast if I want to. Well, what my thoughts on the game? Well, let's see. Um, gameplay, uh, pretty fun. Pretty fun. Mm -hmm. uh, missions make sense uh, most of the time. Uh, map was way too big, though. It should have been a smaller map. The map was way, way too big. And for people that don't like fast traveling, like myself, it is taking way too long to get from mission objective to mission objective. And to do... Th the game designer's objective is to make sure that it's easy for the player, if they wanted to, to not travel around the whole map to do those objectives. It's supposed to at least make it believable that they're so close to each other, but... The crates we had to pick up were believable, but the other stuff, I don't know. It's just too far apart to actually make sense to me. And comics? Like, why, why would someone want comics when people are dying all around them? Same with bobbleheads. I guess humor? But it doesn't make that much sense. Well, I guess there's also the whole thingy with, um... I don't know, the world is, it looks gorgeous, graphics look gorgeous, but the map is just too big for what objectives they had in it. Maybe if more of the maps played a bigger part, it would be great, but eh, too big of a map. Uh, gun selection was pretty good. Wish there were more guns though. It's just more variations of the same gun. Customization, once again, wish there were more. There's not a lot to pick from. Faces were also a little bit too plain. There weren't too many options, and I, I, I kind of dislike that a lot. Because I want to feel... If you're going to make me feel like I'm the character, at least give me options to customize my character. The skill system, not impressive at all. I, I was very disappointed. It just felt like they were taking features away from the character in the beginning and then just giving them slowly the, the one things they should have had in the beginning back to the character. And I was like, okay. So I don't know how to sabotage beforehand, but suddenly because I activate... Or because I read it in a book, I know how to sabotage cars now. Same with using a wingsuit. Suddenly I know how to use a wingsuit because I read a magazine about it. Like, all this is training I had to be when I became a deputy as a character. And all the games before this one, they all kind of had a story-based character that, that already had a past, that has an objective in the present, and you felt with that character, but this time they kind of strayed away from that. Which I dislike a lot, because... I, I like being immersed in the character I play as when it comes to Far Cry. Otherwise, the gameplay doesn't really fit it at all. So, so for me, playing as a character without a story at all, except that they're a deputy, I would have to have build my own story, but I can't further develop my character because of the limits that they have after you have the world to play around in. So I wasn't too impressed by that, and it wasn't fun from my RPT perspective. Like, RPT, non-existent. Whatsoever. They made it seem like an RPT w when it comes to, like, your character. But... Unnecessary, and it's just a made-up pre-made character that we played as. Otherwise, all characters were unique and interesting. Every single one. That's one thing Far Cry, like, not Far Cry, but what uh, Ubisoft does very well is character development and characters in general. I really like that a lot. Uh, each character was unique, their own goals, their own past. Like our characters should have had. <laughs> and I'm not American, so I can't vouch for all the, um, the cultural stuff they got right. 
but a lot of the logic is so stupid. Like, so very stupid. And also, this, like... Sorry, the music is so loud. Let me just turn it down a little bit. <laughs> it's so freaking loud. Um, let me just turn that down. There we go. Uh, but when it comes to the music... Not the music. Uh, sorry, I lost my thought there. But the characters and their, their logic... I, I dislike it a lot, because I can get captured. When I reach a certain amount, suddenly I'm just poisoned by the, the Faith, and I'm trapped by her. And then they let me go again, just to capture me later again, and let me go. And capture me again, let me go, and then in the end they're like, I should kill you, and then they just try to kill you instead. Each and every one of them did that. And I'm just sitting there like, why? <laughs> why do that? No player think it's fun to always be captured because of scripted events. Maybe if we got killed by an enemy, we got captured. But that I can just kind of drive a vehicle and hunt us down with like bullets made of bliss, like bliss bullets. And then suddenly they captured us. What stops them from keep doing that? Like, why don't they just always use bliss bullets against us? Because they know we are going to keep our bliss bullets. They know we are going to keep attacking their bases and keep taking the stuff anyway. I know this has like a religious theme in it, but like... The main character, Joseph, his logic also doesn't make sense. Because if he has to be a villain, he also needs to make sense. But the fact he says it's my fault, it's that fault, it's my fault that this happened, and then it, he, and then he says this one thingy about a bullet can solve everything. I know we were the ones who fired first, but they forced us to. So like. Uh, that doesn't make any sense so why he said that like, it goes against his character as a whole he, he rules with violence that is how he uses he manipulates people with the and uses bliss in their brains to make sure that they do whatever he wants them to do and it and it doesn't make sense in his character design that he suddenly goes against everything he's done and say everything can't be solved by using a bullet I know he doesn't technically use a weapon, but everyone who follows him does. And he's supposed to be their god in a way, and, and everyone follows him, and he knows right from wrong. But, like, uh, he, he's just not that believable as a character, I, I think. Like... I, I don't know. His, it's, for me, his character just seemed very weird. There were times when he made sense at the beginning of the game. He was this holy guy who was like, I speak truth. And then later on, he's like, well, some stuff he says comes through, but it would have come through anyway. And then he just takes it as like, I gave you this chance to walk away. And then if you don't, he's like, this is all your fault. You're not wrath. You're the lamb or whatever. And you're, you're, no, you, what did he say? We were the, uh, we were pride. And he's like, okay, we, we're pride now because we decide to, not let people die. And it's our fault that people die because we decide to not let people die. Alright, but the nukes would have dropped anyway, right? Unless he was the one who launched them, so that doesn't make any sense. I... Eh? Yeah, besides those story... Blood holes, I guess? It was a good game when it comes to the story. They had uh, real life scenarios uh, that could have potentially happened if... A cult captured people trying to brainwash them and all that stuff. And uh, like I said, characters were great, but all in all, I would actually give it a 6 out of 10. It's a triple A game, but it's worse than all the other Far Cry's I've ever played. Far Cry 4 did it better, the main villain was more interesting. He was actually bad to the point where he, he, he was. He wasn't bad bad, but he was bad to the point where he was like doing this because he believed it was the right thing to do. And, th and Jacob Seed is- not Jacob Seed, but Joseph Seed is like... Alright, I, I, I killed my daughter because I, there was this accident that killed my wife and that's when I kind of started believing for good. And then like, then I started the family and then I, I knew, knew then I was like the leader. Alright, cool dude. And then how did you make a cult? How did you make people believe you? How did you make them join? 
You don't really get an answer from that besides that they got enlightened to his words or something. Because they um, they were very badly treated people. Like she, she was getting abused by her parents' faith. And then he pumped her full of drugs. But like, why did she let him pump full of drugs? Just because he said, hey, now I can save you. You're just gonna get pumped full of drugs. I don't know if there's something we can find in the world, but... I don't know. To me, this seems like this is a, an okay game, but they, there are major blood holes. A lot of things that don't make sense at all. And I didn't feel like the choices that my character took would be choices I would take. And I didn't have a say in the matter, so I just felt like my character did whatever they wanted to do. And even if it was extremely stupid, like whatsoever, like, I, I, I would have shot him. If I revived to the church, but instead our character was like, nah, you know what, it's cool. They're gonna arrest him. Then the nukes dropped. What did our character decide to do? He decided to say, yeah, sure, we're gonna let you ride along us in a nuclear fallout. I'm sure that, like, the prison will still have you. I'm, I, we just can't accept the situation. Like, like the nukes fall down. You're like, sure, we take the bad guy with us in the vehicle. Or we ride towards a bunker that we know won't have extremely much food. And, like, like, what? It's just, just what? Why, why bother? Why not just put a bullet in his head and then drive away and then go into the bunker? I know we would probably have died all of us anyway, considering the tree. But, like, doesn't really matter that much. But sure, you, you can say he was right. He was right about nuclear and stuff and that people, but they didn't give him the right to kill people anyway. And still he said that he was better than everyone and bullets won't solve anything. Even though other people die and get brainwashed. Again, it conflicts with itself all the time. It's like, he is this religious figure who doesn't want to do violence, doesn't want to kill you. But everyone else kind of gets killed and gets, vi like, gets violence onto them anyway. I know my wording here kind of sucks, but... So, it's like, he doesn't want to solve things with a bullet himself, but he does it anyway. But he doesn't pull the trigger, so therefore he doesn't do it. But everything he does is his cult, and he calls them his children, but doesn't his children reflect onto him? So all his children is essentially all he is? I, again, those two worlds keep colliding. In the whole game, he keeps saying he's this religious figure who doesn't do any harm, and then... But his followers do harm, so he does too. And he orders everything, and he controls everything. So... Bad. Just... Just... Bad in that regard. But... He's a believable character. So are the other ones. But the choices he makes, and the things he says sometimes... Conflict with everything that goes on around him. Like, whatsoever. Same with when our allies got captured. Like, how did he do that? We had secured all the areas, all the outposts. How did some enemies apparently get through everything, brainwashed them, and brought them back again? Just as we arrived to get him to. I, it, it just seems too unbelievable to be enjoyable and fun for me. I don't know if that's just me. But I definitely felt like, again, unbelievable. Doesn't make sense how they got brainwashed again. And why didn't he just do that to the other people that were my friends? So it's like, Sheriff, the deputy, and the whatever. Like, why? Why? Just, just, why do that? You'll be soft. Why? At least make it believable. But suddenly your friends are captured and they're brainwashed and then you have to make a choice between walking away or not. But if you walk away, then everything you've done in the game is kind of like a waste. I don't know if it would be the same thing that actually happened if you walked away. But the nukes will still drop nonetheless. The nukes doesn't just drop because it says it. And if the, the nukes drop, then it's just because the developers want to make a point to the player. At least that's my guess. Because on a logical level... Dropping nukes because the player says no. Doesn't make any sense. The nukes would have dropped anyway. So, eh. Again, I just feel like the game conflicts with this theme all the time. So, 
the stat. Uh, anything you want to add, hero? Mm, no, I don't think so. You're too low, by the way. You, you can't be hurt. No, I don't think so. But I'm happy that it's co-op. More games need to follow that trend too, where stuff is co-op. It's fun to play with a friend. But don't make it so distance-wise we can't go away from each other. Like, come on! You have to agree with me on that hero, okay? The distance between you and the other person. Why? If you play with another person, it's most likely someone you know. And it should be okay for it to be far away. The only logical explanation I can think of is that it renders two areas and it would be more heavy on performance. But then again, just make it render for one of the people. So, I, I, I still don't get why they did that. And there were a lot of bugs too. Like, like, let me just say there were a lot of bugs. A lot of freaking bugs. One mission didn't even disappear from a map. All this time, that one stupid flight mission with Nick didn't disappear whatsoever. So that doesn't make any sense. Like, please, Ubisoft, stop. Just, just make everything normally, okay? I feel like the reason Ubisoft games have just been like them trying to be RPG-ish but failing at it. Um, sorry if I'm hating on people who love Ubisoft games that are current, but that's how, at least how I feel. Um, not how it is, so keep your own opinion. Uh, spread it in the comment section if you want, but this is how I feel at least. And you can, maybe you can convince me if you can bring up some good, like, points of the game that I missed. But otherwise, like, I, I did have fun playing it, so that's the thing that matters the most. It just sucks that it was a too big map. Uh, s some of the things the story based off of didn't make any sense. Getting captured doesn't make any sense. The ending doesn't make any sense. And, um... I did like the hypnotizing part about our character, though. And our character also didn't make any sense. But is there more that didn't make any sense? I don't remember something completely ridiculous that happened to us, but I don't remember what it was now. It was bug related. Oh yeah, we got trapped in the bunker once. Like what? How did we get trapped in the bunker? It was a hit mission bunker. Because we both died near exiting it, we just got trapped in there. Unless we fast traveled out. Oh well. Now, it may sound like I'm hating on this game, but that's only because I played Far Cry 2. Far Cry 1 when I was younger. Far Cry 3 when, uh, when that came out. I played Far Cry 4. Um, I haven't played any other of the four other Far Cry's yet. I haven't played Far Cry Primal as of this recording. I might have played it when um, I don't know uh, later on when you look at this video. But I haven't played of any of the other ones, so um, there's that. Uh, but but again, like this is so different from Far Cry Three and Four in the story way. Like their story has made at least a little bit of sense. This just kind of doesn't. As much as I love the mystique between, like, with Faith and her character versus John versus, um, I don't even remember his other name. He wasn't special enough. Like, he was just main bad guy. He just had this weird attitude where he brainwashed people with music. And he was a soldier. That's about it. The fact that she was bullied, he had PTSD, and I don't remember John's thing. He committed a sin. Uh, probably killed someone. That's all I got. But yeah, uh, that's gonna be all from me though. A uh, six out of ten. Uh, but if you do like Ubisoft games and you do like Far Cry games, check this one out. I just would not say that you should expect the same kind of thing you did in Far Cry Four and Three. Uh, Far Cry Two is probably more like this one, I would say. Far Cry Two and this one have more similarities when it comes to the world than uh, than Far Cry Three and Four. 
because Far Cry 2's world was also huge, and uh, you could find stuff everywhere, They're like diamonds and such. I played Far Cry 2, like I said, so uh, I know it's kind of what I'm talking about, sort of. But yeah, it's kind of similar to Far Cry 2 in that aspect, but again, the world is too big, make it smaller, make every single location... Make sure you go through every single location more than once, because we didn't even visit every single location in the game. And we also didn't uh, walk through m more of the locations more than once. Well, like a few locations that I kind of recognize and said, oh yeah, we've been here before. But otherwise, we haven't really been to more than a location once, except if there's a mission there. So it's kind of a waste to have this big world that everyone works on, when they could just have focused on these areas and make them more interesting and more used. It may sound like laziness, but if they do it the right way, it can actually be kind of fun to walk back and forth. At least that's how I see it. Like I said, that's gonna be it for me. I'm gonna try to scroll down, uh, and then I'm gonna keep holding this button down, and then hope I'm just gonna mute stop talking. And hopefully... Wait, I'm just gonna make sure you can actually read it in case you want to. Look, just gonna... There we go. You can pause it if you see something you like. Uh, otherwise, I'm just gonna keep going down. We can do some small talk meanwhile here, if you want. So, um, anything that you're extremely... Like, that you liked a lot about the game? Still too low, by the way. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know. Trying no, to. It's a night, yeah? but I'm thinking of things. I don't think that is a pretty good move. Like a pretty good thing. I don't want to go fast, so. Didn't I think that was good. I just enjoyed it. You just enjoyed it. I just enjoyed it. Yes. I can only go fast. You, you like the what? Yeah, the shooting, the PP stuff, so it is the gameplay. Like the gameplay? The stories were interesting. <laughs> they were interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good stuff. I can actually go fast. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, I, I had my questions about some of the story elements too, like you heard, so. Mm-hmm. Again, the reason why I show the credits is because I I like to credit the people actually making it. Because uh, it is impressive what they made, and I do love it. And I know, since I have been studying game development myself, that um, how, how painful it can be. <laughs> so, I, I just want to credit them somehow. But I think we are... Are we beside the... The actual developers? I don't know. And that now we're just talking about the small other studios, or like smaller studios that they're showing off. Technology, release management. And you can go pretty quick if you... Yeah, I'm, try like, I'm trying to also make sure it's readable, in case someone actually wants to read it. But I guess I'm just gonna go quick, because it seems like it's a long one. The poor people that want to read this, they're gonna have to like pause in like slow motion. Yeah, Here we have all the music. Um, nah, it's too late now. Alright, I went through it. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna spawn in the county now. New game plus is unlocked. In this mode, you can play the campaign again with infamous difficulty. The perk upgrades. Uh, your current perks, perks points, and I'll carry it off. Nope. Nope, I'm good. Thank you very much. I am all good. Uh, me and Hero will play through uh, some of the DLCs, though. Uh, so keep that in mind. In the future, we'll play through some of the DLCs. Uh, so you can head over to those playthroughs and check those out if you want. If they are out at the time of this... I don't think it is when you're watching it. But I don't know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this playthrough. If you did, check, consider checking out another one of my playthroughs. Um, 
as an example my Far Cry ones that I have already like, kind of like done. Uh, otherwise, I just hope you liked watching this one and maybe take out another one, uh, another video of mine. I just, like I said, another playthrough. Uh, but I do hope you enjoyed. So if you did, consider leaving a like to show uh, and subscribe if you really want to see more from me. Uh, but otherwise, uh, I want to thank you for watching. And as always, you stay awesome and I hope to see you in another playthrough of mine.